<laughs> All right. They may look like expensive abstract works of art, but these images are actually some of the breathtaking photos of our planet taking, taken from space by Colonel Chris Hadfield. He's one of the most accomplished astronauts in history, and his new book reveals a visually stunning tour of Earth from his adventures aboard the International Space Station. It's called You Are Here Around the World in 92 Minutes. Chris Hadfield, welcome back to Studio 57. Thank you for First the First of all, Thank you, because this is everybody's dream is, is to be able to see, I think, you know, the yeah, world yeah. from outer space, these images. How many pictures did you take? <laughs> you know, NASA doesn't give us any time to take pictures. They just assume the view out the window is going to be so compelling, you're just going to not be able to avoid it. And I took, uh, when I should have been sleeping, I took about 45,000 pictures over half a year up there. They have, wow. what, a dozen cameras on board? Uh, we have a, a big variety. Cameras don't last very long because of the, the radiation up there. It tends to destroy the little sensor in the back so we keep cycling through but yeah we keep about eight cameras by the big window in the belly of the space station how does this change you uh, I think it gives you a real understanding of the world not not your own part of the world and then sort of a, a percolated view of the rest but you see the whole thing sort of uh, unanimously uniformly in 90 mm -hmm. 92 minutes as it says on the book around and around and that really starts to seep into you the uh, the, the fact that we're all in this together. together. You don't seem to see the same shot over and over again because yeah. your orbit changes. Its yeah, our, our orbit stays fixed. It's sort of like a, like a, a ball and a string, but the world turns underneath you like, like a gift. So every time you come around, you, you see something new. And we were there as we went halfway around the sun, so the seasons changed on the world. So wow. it's like the world just like revealed itself every time you yeah. came around with a new view. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it was, I was interested that uh, the, the most common request of a person would make take a shot of my hometown that, that delighted <laughs> oh, yeah. me my my son Evan sent me a note saying dad ask everybody what they want you to take a picture of so I asked hey everybody and they said yeah. my hometown well, but yeah. what was delightful about that was not not just the narcissism but the fact that people are proud of where they're from but they also want to see how does that fit right. in how do they how do they look in perspective to the rest of the world and that was really revealing to me can you see when you're in outer space, can you see like the lights of Manhattan? Can you see at night a city that's lit up? Oh yeah, the eastern seaboard of the U.S. is is so distinctive. It's, it's maybe even clearer than it is during the daytime because because the big cities as you come so across D.C. Like? and Philly and okay. uh, there it is. I can, it looks. I can, <laughs> there's that. a difference between day and night block. of the two. Yeah, you can see Central Park so clearly, and the naked eye does a much better job at low light than any camera does. So you can pick out the Statue of Liberty if it's lit up. And out how there. many? thousands oh. of feet tens of thousands of feet are you we're about uh, 1.3 million feet up. Yeah, 1 .3 million. Thank <laughs> about you. Uh, whatever 270 miles up or something like that depends yes. you, I, asking uh, you know your favorites but I, I I think you saved the best for last South America the South America section is just page after page of mind-boggling. And I think part of it is you don't fly across South America in airliners on the way to anywhere. You know, you're going somewhere and coming back. So for a lot of people that look in a book, they're not familiar with what that part of the world looks like from the air. And we crossed it thousands of times. The variety from the glaciers to the huge expanses of farmland and then the dryness of Chile and the high salt pans up there. It's gorgeous. And your Amazon. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and yeah, the Amazon well, also. Would it be possible to have, I mean, do we have a camera uh, it's 92 minutes that yeah. could give us just 92 minutes of what it looks like and what you could see from your eye. We have that from the space station now, Charlie, but the difference is a person with a camera can be going, wow, look at that, or you catch a glimpse, a, a glint of the sun off something for just a second as it flashes by, or shadow is so important, a dawn picture, like if you're looking at Manhattan, if you catch it at dawn, the tall buildings are actually uh, shadowed on the river, or or you can pick out the dunes uh, of, of Australia it, with the colors, they're very much depending on the time of day, so the, the trained eye may makes a big difference in, in not just recording the world, but actually seeing the you're, world. You're not a professional photographer, a trained photographer, but, but you produce almost fine art. The, the, you know? the people that trained me for years at NASA would despair to, for you to say <laughs> I'm, I'm not a trained photographer. Yeah. I'm definitely not a professional photographer. The world is, is so generous in its beauty, and, yeah. and you oh, do your boy. best to, to take pictures of it. It's just, it's just flat and gorgeous to see. So what did cool. you think of the movie Gravity? I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, what we saw, is that anything the, like? The visuals, yeah, that's what I mean. yeah, Not the they're, they're the most compelling visuals of any space movie ever made. You, I've been out on two spacewalks, yeah. sort of like on the cover of the book. And yeah. 
uh, that sense of not being on the world looking at the universe, but being in the universe with mm. the world. That parallel, bottomless, uh, huge, vast expanse. The movie, if, if you want to get some feel of what it's like, the, that movie shows it the best. Oh, wow. Well, thank Colonel you. Hadfield. You're so lucky. Thank you. You Are Here uh, goes on sale today. today. Yeah.